welcome back to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. We're going to take a look at the Siemens Coriolis Technology Module card. We've covered how to integrate um, this card into uh, WinCC um, SCADA and uh, how to set up TIA portal. So in this video we're going to look at um, how PDM, somatic PDM functions uh, with this device. So um, the first thing we need to do is to download the um, the EDD because it's not in the current library. So you need to download that from the support page and then use Device Integration Manager to install um, uh, the, the new card. So it does install um, uh, all of the cards uh, into to the uh, catalog. But you can see here there's some nice ones, the new um, analog output card. So this is ideal for pneumatic valve positioners, for instance, and that supports heart pass through. Um, the analog input card for your know, standard um, uh, instrumentation with heart pass through. And there we have the Citrans FCT07 over the Coriolis card. These are already installed. But um, if I selected this, then you could integrate those into Somatic PDM. So we do need to know the IP address of the rack. Um, and that is the ET200SP IP address. So in TIA portal, I can see here it's 1.32. So we'll create a new project. And the first thing we need to do is um, obviously create a uh, communication network. And in this instance, we are on Profinet. So my PC needs to be connected to the Profinet network on the PLC. And I can see here it's inserted that. But what I need to be careful of, you can see here uh, Ethernet interface. If I look at the object properties for this, you'll see here communication and it's using my PC PG interface. Now I prefer not to use that because I use my PC PG interface for doing Profibus DP and I forget and all of a sudden this project doesn't work. So you can actually use the network adapter. I don't want to use a virtual one. In this case I am using my wireless connection so I can set that up. So that's probably the trickiest thing to do. So before I insert a new object we can actually use lifeless. So PDM start life list and this will show me what's on the network and also prove that my my connection is working my uh, ethernet adapter that i've just set up so there you can see my uh, devices on the network i have my hmi we have the et 200 sp which is what we're going to set up but two compact field units you can export that project and import it but it's easier just to make a note of that ip address so when we're on the profinet network insert new object and enter the IP address of the ET200SP so once it's found the card you just insert that and click OK and then to test your diagnostics you can just right click PDM um, update diagnostics So what we need to know now is what slot our card is in, so our Coriolis card. So if we go back to our TIA portal project, you can see there slot 4 is where the card resides. So we go back to PDM with the um, ET200SP high feature selected. We insert new object. We're on slot 4, sign device. And we can see there there's not much to select from so there's no reason to, to do device identification because we know what we're doing here and then click OK and again you can now update your diagnostics if you want so I can see now that I've got communications to that card so I'm gonna right click and open the the object and this will now open up uh, Somatic PDM 9.1 in this case. Um, this um, EDD um, 
will uh, only work with uh, the newer versions of, of PDM 9.1. Um, I had issues with service pack or update 2. Uh, I got it to work on update 4, so if we have a look on here, help about, you can see here I'm on 9.1 uh, 9 update 4, okay, and this is working okay. Um, so the first thing we need to do is do an up upload. Once you've done an upload, you can you can use uh, the wizards to, to, to do some programming. Um, it's really important that PDM will not allow you to program the parameters that you have set in TIA Portal. Because it doesn't make sense, because if you do a hardware download on TIA Portal, it's going to override your, your settings anyway. Um, so if we want to set this up, we can go to the wizards, we can go to the quick start wizard. You can see here there's a nice picture, so we need to really get into the habit of putting a, a tag in here. Some instructions for, for mounting the sensor, how to, to, to wire the device up. Um, and this is uh, um, speed of response. If you've got the flow meter in the wrong way, you can change the direction. So you'll get it reading a, a positive flow. I can see here now my summary of the parameters that I've changed. And it's now said that that's been transferred successfully. So really the main thing that you need to use PDM for is really setting the empty pipe detection and diagnostics. So to do the empty pipe detection you go to setup and then um, under process values you'll see density and then under here by default I'm pretty sure this empty tube detection is disabled so you enable it and then you put a density in here. Of course if this is a gas flow flow meter then we really can't set this it needs to be disabled um, but uh, for liquid you, you need to know the density of the liquid going through the pipe and you know set that to a, to a lower density and anything below that will trigger an empty pipe uh, alarm so in this case um, uh, I'm looking at whiskey which has got a density of about 950 ish so I've set it to 500 so anything below 500 kilograms per meter cubed is going to, to trigger an empty pipe alarm. And then other than that the only thing that we need this for is to look at our advanced diagnostics so we can see all our alarms under here so we have sensor alarms, process alarms, um, I'll come on to simulation in a minute and then we have our input outputs on, on there to see the status of those. And then more importantly, we have our advanced diagnostics. And under here, advanced diagnostics sensor, these are the raw analog pickups um, uh, before they're turned into a digital signal. So this um, gives us an idea of how well the uh, Coriolis sensor is performing and we can look at that as a, as a trend view as well. So that's quite a powerful tool if we think we're having issues with the flow meter. So close that. Um, we also have under here you'll see um, an audit trail function. So under audit trail we've got a full diagnostic log. So if you've got an intermittent problem it will be stored under this diagnostic uh, um, log and then we have our simulation we can simulate alarms process values so all of that can be done here um, and that stays in that simulation state until you turn it off manually or you recycle the power so there you have it um, a look at somatic PDM for the Siemens uh, technology mo module for Coriolis meters the FCT 070 um, thanks for listening, your support is appreciated. Please share this site with your friends and colleagues and I'll see you soon and keep safe.